The first would be during a sale. So we go to transactions, sale. We would process the sale as usual. We can enter in the card details and we can select store card for future use, give it a reference number or a description and hit process. We can use a device and store a card for future use. Same applies, reference number and a description and hit process. We can use a TTID and a TTID can be found on either an open transaction or in your transaction history report. So these are TTIDs. These are temporary tokens, more or less. They are transaction identifier numbers. Let's use this one and we can store this card here. And we can store, recur, and make it an installment. Pulls the card information already. We can apply it to a customer. Apply a reference number and a description. And there is our token we just created. And it'll give you a token number. You can also create a token on its own without having to make a sale. So we would go to stored accounts, add stored account. Once again, we have store, reoccurring, and installment. Reoccurring is a transaction that will happen constantly. So you can choose the frequency, the amount that they will be charged, the start date. If you leave it blank, it will be indefinite, or you can choose an end date. You can apply a customer, and then hit submit. For installment, very similar except for this will be the total amount of the transaction. So if it was 500, you can charge them how often you'd like. So you could charge them monthly. And let's do five payments. Yeah, so they would charge, get charged $100 until they reach the amount. Okay, and then you would hit submit. Both reoccurring and installment transactions run daily beginning at 10 p.m. Eastern. This cannot be changed. Okay. We can list our stored accounts here, in which we can then create a new transaction from there, store a new account from the token, edit and delete the, the token. We can also list expired ones. We have none, but if the card had expired, it would go here. And that is tokens.